Hello, hello everybody. Lori here from Unique in the Creek. Hello everybody. Hello, hello. Lori here from Unique in the Creek. Hope everyone's doing well since the last time we saw each other. Say hey when you come in. Let me know where you're watching from. Hi, Jean Ann. Um, today we are going to be making a magnolia wreath. A magnolia. Now, ooh, pardon me. This has been done before um, by Stacy Chadwick. However, I am doing it differently. So you can find Stacy's um, uh, live, or sorry, tutorial on the Magnolia wreath. I think she did one a, a year or two ago. I think it's on the Deco Exchange YouTube channel. Or it could be on your front porch. I'm not sure. But anyways, I am doing, she is the one who inspired me to do is this magnolia wreath. However, I'm just doing it a little bit different than she did. Now I had to make sure that the way I'm gonna do it, um, it's not been done before for one thing because I do not like, do not like doing something else somebody else has done without giving the proper, there you are Kathy. I know you've been waiting. Tina had me. I am so sorry, Kathy, but there's, there's things lined up. Um, so if I say something, you know, weeks ago, I have all kinds of projects already lined up for me to do. So I have to squeeze these other projects in whenever I can. So Tina said you were anxious, anxious and here I am just for you. <laughs> Anyways. I just playing around, I came up with a really, really cool way to do the magnolia petal. And I think I may call it a double Dean Michael. Okay. It's, it's very different. Now saying that most people, if they see a new petal or if they see a petal, they don't, they've never seen on unique in the Creek. You're welcome, Kathy. They usually message me or someone on my team saying, you know, look at this petal. So I do see a lot of petals. Um, however, I have not seen this one that I'm gonna show you. So if you guys have seen it before, please let me know, okay? Um, it's pretty cool because I hate wood burning. I hate it, hate it, hate it. So I do anything in my power not to have to wood burn. So when I sit down to do a petal, I try and figure out some way I can do it that it doesn't need to be wood burned. And I did it with this petal because Stacy, when she did hers, she wood burned her mesh and it turned out great. It's a double, it's, it's layered. The mesh is layered so you don't see through it which is fabulous because there's not very many petals on this magnolia wreath. There's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 petals total on this whole wreath. But the petals have to be precise and they have to look nice because they they are up front and center. They're, they're in your face. So if they're not nicely done, you're going to be able to tell. So the, what I'm gonna show you is you can do this with, I'm gonna use fabric mesh, only because I love work. I love working with fabric mesh. Um, and I did buy a bunch of cream fabric mesh. Um, I did put the list uh, attached to this tutorial, uh, but the cream is RY831283. Um, I'm gonna use cream, but you can, you can also use poly burlap without wood burning it. And I'm gonna show you. 
Um, if you want to do cream magnolias, now magnolias are done in different colors. Uh, Stacy made a pink one that's absolutely gorgeous. So you can use whatever color you want. I'm using cream because that's the standard. Um, the poly burlap cream is RP810030. Okay, so that's the poly burlap. Now I will show you with the poly burlap how it's done. But like I said, I'm doing the um, fabric mesh. And I do have these in our store. They are faux magnolia leaves. Really, really pretty. Look how pretty these are. Um, I actually seen a cross done with all with the magnolia leaves because these you can pull off. Okay, and I seen a cross done with all magnolia leaves. It was absolutely stunning. I wish I had thought of it first, but I really wasn't focusing on magnolia leaves. So uh, we do have these in stock. They are item XX7894. Okay, I'm going to show you the magnolia with these faux leaves. I got three stems here. Um, but I'm also going to show you how you can make magnolia leaves with this moss green fabric mesh. And we're going to make these magnolia uh, leaves uh, the same as we do the petal. Okay, so let's get started. Now, like I said, the petal is going to be in your face. And it's going to be a Dean Michael petal. However, like folded like a Dean Michael. What you're going to want, we're going to need 12 pieces, 12 pieces of, I'm using fabric mesh. This fabric mesh is 10 and a half inches wide, okay? I need to double this. I'm going to cut it 10 and a half by 21. If you're using the poly burlap, you will cut your mesh 10 by 20. Okay, so you're going to double whatever the width of your mesh is. Okay, so if you're using poly burlap, poly burlap is always 10 inches. You would cut it 10 by 21, I mean 10 by 20. The fabric mesh, we're going to cut 10 by 21. Now we want to make sure we have some precise cuts. Because like I said, this, this petal is going to be in your face. We want perfection as close as perfection. I know there's no perfect in crafting, but we're gonna get close. So to do this, I have some of my little handy dandy clips on the side of my mat here, okay? So I'm gonna roll out my mesh and the end of my mesh, I'm gonna put it right on the zero and put it under my clips, okay? So it's gonna hold my mesh in place. Perfect, right? Stretch this down. Now you want it so your mesh is just above one of these lines here. Okay, so I have it just above the two. Because I want this bottom uh, seam to run right along here. Well, just above it so I can see it like that. Okay. There we go. Yes, I'm going to be using the small board, and I'll explain that in one second. I just want to get the mesh cut and stuff. And then I've, I've, I've given this hint quite a few times. You can buy these at the dollar store. They are the metal rulers. They come in really, really handy, especially if you're wood burning. But they come in handy when you need a perfect square. Okay, and I, this time, I'm going to be OCD because I want a perfect rectangle of 10 and a half by 21. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler, my metal ruler, and I'm putting it just before the 21 inch line here. Okay. Now you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, this is so redundant. Oh my gosh, so much work. Guys, you only need to do 12 of these. Okay. So it's not that bad. So I got, and I'm just going to use my rotary cutter. So I'm going to cut right along my ruler and you want a metal one because the, the wood ones, especially if you're wood burning, it's going to melt, right? 
even though mo a lot of the wood ones do have like a metal edging, um, I wouldn't trust it. So grab a metal one from the dollar store. All right, and we are gonna cut 12 of these pieces. Now I've already cut some, obviously. 12 really nice 10 and a half by 21 inch pieces of mesh, okay? So I've already got a lot of them cut. Um, I'm gonna cut a green one because the leaves are made the same with a little bit of a little bit of a different um, part to it. So I'm gonna hook on my mesh again to my little metal clips here, right on the zero. I am going to roll out, hi Regina. I'm gonna roll out my mesh. Okay, making sure the bottom, the bottom edge is right straight across because we want a nice uh, tri uh, rectangle. I don't know my shapes today. And then again, I'm gonna take my metal ruler and just like a few, um, inch, a uh, few little millimeters right before the 21. Sorry, I'm on the metric system. I don't know what these little increments are called. <laughs> I know these are inches. What are the ones in between? <laughs> How stupid am I? I, I? I'm in Canada, so I'm on the metric system. But anyways, <laughs> an eighth of an inch or something. I don't know. Anyways, right before the 21 inch. All right, and then we're gonna just cut it straight down. So we have, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use, do four of these green petals to show you guys. Um, and I'm also, I'll show you guys, what's the little, little tiny ones? <laughs> um, and then I'll show you guys also with the, the faux um, magnolia leaves. And you guys can decide which ones you like better. These are very, fairly inexpensive and they're really good quality. These are, I don't even know what they're made of some kind of plastic, but they're pretty cool. All right, now what I'm gonna need, I'm gonna be using the small board. That's it, you're on the metric system too, Judes. What is it called on the non-metric system? <laughs> I really sound dumb right now, don't I? Okay, so we're using the small board for this. We are going to be using rows, this is row one, two, three and four. And you can see that indicated right on the board. For the whole flower, to make the flower, no, the green is, the green is 10 and a half as well. Okay, so I want a perfect, I want a rectangle at 20, at 21. If you're using poly burlap, and I did give you the eucalyptus green poly burlap number, you're gonna do 10 by 20. Okay, so we're going to be using row three, the normal holes, okay? We're also going to be using row four, and I didn't preload row four because I'm going to explain after we get row three in, we'll, we'll, we'll do row four. Now, on row two, I'm going to be using four leaves. Now, find the number one and then the number two. I have put four zip ties on row two, and where I put these zip ties, this is the number two, I'm going to one over, okay, and one over. Why I did it there is because these two, this hole doesn't have any other of the normal holes lined up with it. So if you look, see this row, this hole right here, row two, row four lines up with it. So I didn't want to use these two holes. Um, this, these, this set of holes, nothing lines up with it and nothing down here really lines up with it. So I'm just using right here. So it's one to the right, one set to the left, you're going to skip a set, you're going to do a zip tie, skip a set, 
do a zip tie, skip a set, do a zip tie. So I got four zip ties on row two. These are where I'm gonna put my green leaves, okay? When we're gonna make them. Row three is going to be the cream ones. So for the green leaves, what, I'm gonna show you exactly how we're gonna make them. I don't think Irish Made Crafts sells them anymore. Okay, we're going to fold this in half and I want to line up the corner here and you're going to use clips. So get your clips out, okay? And we're going to line up the seam or the factory edge of this 21 inch piece of mesh. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. Okay. I'm being very precise. I'm, I'm bringing out my inner OCD. I'm going to put a clip here so it, everything stays in place because what I want to do is make a crease where the folded edge is here I want to make a crease just down the middle now you can do this with your just your fingers or you can take your metal ruler and help you you just want to see be able to see this line this crease that we're making okay Okay, now I'm going to take your clips off. Yes, you can iron it. I do have my iron here. Don't worry. I'm just giving options right now. Okay, so there's my line down the middle. I'm going to take, I'm right-handed. I'm going to take this top edge and I'm going to line it up down that line, now you probably can't see it very much well, but right down, not on top of the line, about two millimeters from the line, okay? And then I'm gonna put a clip here. I'm gonna put a clip at the bottom. And I'm gonna flatten these, this edge out, like here. And I'm going to put a clip here, okay? I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now, I'm not overlapping onto here. I'm just kind of, again, just in a few millimeters or an eight, seven eighths or whatever you call it. Just a few little tiny gap, but you don't want to overlap. Okay, now it'll get easier as, as I'm going. I'm going really slow for you guys to catch on to this. And you'll see in a second, you'll be like, oh. Okay, I'm clipping here. And I'm clipping here. We got a big old Star Trek, okay? Now what I wanna do is I'm going to flip Okay, I'm gonna flip this right down the middle like this, okay? So the corners will line up. Now, right in the middle here, this is the corner that we want to pay attention to, okay? Right here. So when you flip this over, this it makes a corner. Okay, this corner you want to pay special attention to. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm making sure that my seams are lined up on this corner. And then when you see it, you can see that there's a big long ledge at the bottom. I'm going to line up the factory edges 
like that. Take one of these off and clip it. And I, like I said, I'm probably, if this hasn't been done or named before, I'm probably just going to call it the Double Dean Michael. And then this side is the folded edge and it's actually the middle where we put the two, met the two seams there. We're just going to make sure the bottom is lined up. And I'm, I'm also going to show you guys this when uh, with with uh, poly burlap. All right, so we have a nice lined up triangle here, with this being our main point. Okay, so I put two uh, pin or clips there. So can you see that? So now what I want to do is I'm going to fold this right in half. So I want it to be directly in half, okay, just like that. And this is where our ironing will come in. And I'm clipping it. And I'm clipping it. Okay, I'm going to take my mat, or my uh, glass cutting mat, and we're gonna iron, we're gonna iron this seam. And what it will do is give you a vein down the middle of your petal, okay, for your leaves. You can also put some hot glue and gently push it together. Um, I'm going to try that as well. Because we have four layers of um, mesh here, you shouldn't see the glue through the vein. Okay, so I'm going to take my little handy dandy craft. Look how cute he is and he's smiling. My little craft iron. You can get these on Amazon for like 10 bucks. Yes, I was the very first one to iron mesh a long time ago. <laughs> and we're just going to iron. I just press down. We're going to make a seam. Now there's only one, you can use a normal iron too. It's, it's not gonna melt anything. I wouldn't put it on super, super high. If you're gonna put it on high, make sure you use some parchment paper. Make sure up here is where we definitely want the seam because that's the top of the leaf, okay? I'm gonna unclip these. Unclip it, and there we go. We have a nice, I don't know if you guys can see, we have a nice vein going down the center of our double Dean. Double Dean! I don't know what else to call it. Okay, so I'm going to pinch in the middle. Again, we want to make sure we have a really nice petal. So what you're going to do, there is two layers here, okay? You're going to grab both layers about, let's see, about two inches in and bring those to the center. Again, you can bring, get another two inches, bring it to the center, and then another two inches bring it to the center just like that okay and we're going to do the same thing on the other side so you can i'm giving you precise you don't have to be precise but if you want perfect leaves you will do the two inches so there's two inches bring it to the center now and making sure i'm grabbing both pieces of that fabric mesh Two inches, bring it to the center, two inches, bring it to the center. 
Okay, once you have them all to the center, you're gonna grab one of your, I haven't made one of these yet, Kay, so I can't give you a picture. This is the first time I'm making it. Putting a rubber band on the bottom. And then we have a nice formed leaf. Now, like I said, you can, let's try a little bit of hot glue. We can try some hot glue. I don't know how, I don't think you'll be able to see it down the center because like I said, it is, we do have um, four layers here. Clip it on and we'll see what it looks like. But there's one, two, three. I think I made four of them. I thought I made four of them. So that's the leaf. Okay. The the petal is very similar, except you don't really need to do any ironing. So we cut, let's check this hot glue one out. Oh, that works. So you don't see, because normally if you just use um, two pieces, like the normal Dean Michael, you can see the hot glue through the mesh. Um, because we have four layers of mesh in this petal, you don't see it. So you can put a little bit of glue right on the inside and close it with your clips and leave it like that. And it'll come out with a really nice vein. We'll do that again. So you're going to curl up, use your 21 inch piece, curl up. Putting together the two corners. Okay, and then again, making sure that we're going, putting the factory edges right on top of each other. Hello, hello. Oh my God. Okay. There we go. And then I'm lining up this edge. Okay. Again, I'm going to, where it's folded over, I want to make sure I have a crease. You have your iron out to make, to make your crease more visible for when you're folding. You can just take your iron and just run it down that, that edge. Hopefully doing this, you'll be able to see my, my center better when I'm going to fold this. Open it up. Okay, we're still curl up. I'm right handed. I'm going to take that right hand um, top edge here and bring it down the center just before, a couple millimeters before the um, center line. And I can see it much better because I ironed it. So I clip it at the top, I'm going to clip it at the bottom, smooth it out, and just clip it at the side. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I'm running it down the center. Again, I'm 
not a, right on the center, but very close to the other edge we just did. Okay. Clip it at the top. Again, these two clips right here at the top. This is going to be the corner that we are going to be focused on when we're making our petal. All right, there is our large Star Trek. Now I'm just gonna fold that over and making sure right here is lined up. And this side, the open side, the edges, are lined up. This is the corner we're focusing on up, up top here. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna flip it over in half again. And when you flip it in half, this right here, that is where we're going to iron. Because as you can see, magnolia leaves have a very pronounced um, center vein. So to make a magnolia flower look more realistic, you should have, you know, uh, leaves that look like magnolia. So this is as close as we can do it with mesh. And then I'm just going to iron this center. So like I said, I only have, I'm only going to do four leaves. So I only have to do four of these green ones. And because you don't see any of the cut edges, you don't have to wood burn your mesh. Also going to add that glue because it it worked really well. Okay, so you're going to open open your leaf up. I should took all those off. There we go. Okay, we're going to pinch in on the in the middle. That's right where we ironed. Make sure you grab both layers and you're going to go about two inches from the center. Grab your mesh, bring it to the center. Two inches, pinch it to the center, pinch it to the center. We're going to flip it around. Two inches, bring it to the center inches bring it to the center and again two inches bring it to the center okay and then I'm going to put a rubber and make sure the bottoms are kind of lined up there and then I put a rubber band around it okay you can open it you can sculpt it we can emphasize that that um, vein even more by just putting, you don't have to do it down the whole leaf, just basically the top. A little bead of hot glue. And I'm gonna put a couple clips until the glue's dried, okay? So that's how I did the green leaves. Okay, so the magnolia petal is very very similar we're gonna make it very similar these I've made a, a bunch already so we're not here forever so 
So again, no wood burning or anything. It cups perfectly. Look how pretty that is. All of them are very, very nice. Because you see these, they don't hide or anything. You see these with this flower. So you have to, again, you have to be precise. Okay, so let's do the actual petal. 12 of these you need. You need eight on row three, and you're gonna need row four on row four. And then I'll show you it in, in burlap as well, poly burlap. Okay, again, we're going to line up the edges. Again, this is a 10 and a half by 21 inch fabric mesh. If you want to do this, I would recommend only fabric mesh, poly burlap, or horizontal wide straight. Fabric mesh and, you, and poly burlap will give you your best look. The only because um, you can mold them, you can mold them and cup them a lot easier than any other mesh. This is what you want, like this cup. Okay, so we're going to exact same. I'm going to find that center and make a line. Have your if you do have a, a little iron you can do that you can just keep pushing you can use a ruler and as long as you when you open it up you can see your center line okay the natural color is is cream all right so there's my center line we're gonna take right side and go right down the middle, just like we did the green. It's exactly, almost exactly the same as the green petal. We're just not putting veins and all that stuff in it. Has anybody seen this petal before? Done. Yes, there's pink ones, yellow ones, there's all kinds, but I think the main magnolia petal that everybody identifies with is, you have wear, Deborah. I'd like to go see what they called it. I don't want anybody thinking I, I, I copied them. So, okay, now I'm gonna flip it over. And then we're going to make sure that these edges right here are lined up. You can just, no, Stacy hasn't done it. I was speaking with Stacy earlier doesn't matter I just wanted to make sure that I'm not calling it something um, now when I made my petals I made sure that see this open we want to make sure your petals are all of them are the exact same so I have the opening to the right of my petal all right so when I fold this over No, I'm gonna flip it. I want this side on the right. I'm gonna fold it over. Again, line this up. You 
you've seen it, Sherry? If anybody's seen it before, if you can just throw me an email or a private message. Yeah, that's okay, Deborah. I just don't like doing something somebody else did without giving them the proper acknowledgement. Now, I've not seen anybody. That doesn't mean anything. Oh, yeah, Stacy Chadwick's done, done the flower. Absolutely. I'm just doing the petal different. Okay, I just ironed just the bottom here just so when I open it up, I want the right. I'm going to pinch it in the center. So I've seen my center line. Okay, again, exactly like we did the green. You're going to take your mesh, make sure you got both, both sets of mesh, and I'm doing it two inches to the center. Again, two inches and two inches. Flip it around. And we're going to do it the same. So it does, once you get, once you get the hang of what you're doing, it doesn't go very, it, it goes pretty fast. Okay. So it's, it's just practice. All right, so that is our petal. I'm going to put a rubber band on it. Make sure that all these little pleats are all lined up. Okay. And then I'm going to put a rubber band. All right, so we want to make sure there's my opening on the right-hand side, my tattoo. We're going to sculpt it and cup it open. Look how pretty that is. It's like perfect. And you can't see through it. And I didn't have to wood burn it. <laughs> so you need 12 of these. 12. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I got one more to make. Okay, one more. So curl up when you're putting these together. You put the ends. These are just little fabric clips. You can get like a pack of 100 on Amazon. Um, we just got more of the metal ones in that actually just came in today. So we will be restocking on those. middle. Okay, make sure your factory edge is lined up. And I'm not normally so OCD about the petals, but because this magnolia, you literally see every single one. You want to make sure and there's only 12, right? There's only 12. You just want to make sure that all 12 are nicely made. And this is the easiest way I can show you guys how to do it. Oops. Just making a, just make your crease just enough so you can see it. I'm trying to make it even more so you guys can see it on the camera. Yeah, this is called, this actually is a cream white um, fabric mesh. Okay, open it up. We still have curl up. Take that top right, bring it down the center just before the line. Not on the line, just a little, little bit before the line. Clip the top. That top is your main corner. We're going to clip, clip the bottom and then flatten 
with your hand, click the side. I'm going to do the same on the other side. It is my first magnolia flower. And this is inspired by you, my friend Stacy. I just, of course, did, did the petals a little different. Corner. Bottom. Hello, hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. We are making a magnolia flowery. Okay, there we go. We got our big old Star Trek. You're going to flip it over, line up the two things at the top is what is the corner is the important corner so line up the edges as, as good as you can and there is four layers so that's the nice thing you won't see through this petal There's my opening, so it's to the right. Make sure this is right down. So that's our center. Our important corner is right here. Actually, it would probably be easier if I did do it like this and then just flipped over the petal. Hold on. Let's try that again. There's my opening on the right, two inches, pinch it to the center, try and keep everything lined up, two inches, pinch it to the center, two inches, pinch it to the center, try and keep the bottom pleats all lined up. Two inches. You gotta make sure you're grabbing both pieces of the fabric mesh. Two inches. Two inches. All right, and then we're gonna make sure these are all lined up. And I'm going to rubber band it. You definitely want to rubber band it because there's a, it's pretty thick with the four layers. I have a string. All right, my right. And you don't have to worry about the mesh that's in the center. That is just a filler to fill up our petal so you don't see through it. All right, and then we're going to sculpt it and make it opened up and cupped. There we go. There's another one. All right, so that is fabric mesh. I told you guys I would do, do it in poly burlap without wood burning. Right, let's see how our... Yeah. 
So because there is four layers, if you do it like me, you can put a little bead of glue and then close it and you got a beautiful V going through that leaf and without seeing any glue. So that worked out well. All right, so let's do poly burlap. We're gonna do it exactly the same way except we're only cutting it 20 inches because poly burlap is only 10 inches wide. So I'm gonna clip the end. Now you're gonna to have to deal with some strings. You won't see any strings, but while you're making this, you will see strings because anytime you will manipulate poly burlap, it will fray. Yes, there's two new kits coming up tomorrow. All right, so we're gonna line it all up at the 20 inch, just a few millimeters before the 20. Because this is 10 inch, I'm gonna cut it. All right, curl up. Now poly burlap is a lot more forgiving, well, not for strings or anything, but um, it molds really well because it's a very soft mesh. So I really don't have to put a lot of clips on because as soon as I put a crease down the middle and put the factory edges together, it's going to stay. So you can put clips in like I did with the fabric mesh, but you can see how easy I could make that crease down the center. Okay. Open it up and you take the right Bring it down the center. You can tell as soon as you flatten it, it stays. I'm gonna put a clip on anyways. That's the corner we're going to focus on. Flatten this out. Flip it over. And it should be literally perfect lined up because that's just how poly burlap rolls. All right. doing duh string okay. fold it over pinch it where I folded it over okay Three, one, two, three, turn it, one, two, three, make the ends. rubber band all right open it up make sure you're and there we go my friends like I said you have a few strings you have to work with but you can mold it make sure the edges And cup it and there you go so you can do it with poly burlap as well with the four layers so you don't see through it and the fabric mesh 
Might be a little harder with the horizontal wide stripe. It can be done. I'm not going to do it today, but it can be done. You'll just have to be use a lot more clips probably because it's a lot stiffer. Fabric mesh and poly burlap are quite soft. So that's why you can mold it so nicely. But there you go. You have a nice Dean Michael petal. Even though we used a 20 inch piece, you don't have to wood burn it. So for those of you that hate wood burning like me, I would rather use a 20 inch piece for my, <laughs> my petals rather than wood burning. And you get a perfect petal. Now we're using a cup side, so we're gonna start. So the first, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the green leaves in. So you can either buy the faux magnolia leaves and you'll be able to see where it goes thin and a little bit thicker. Right where it goes thick is right where I'm gonna cut, okay? Can just pull these apart just a little bit so they're a little bit spread out. You're going to put it right in that zip tie like that and do it up. Okay, you can also hit it with a little bit of hot glue right across the stem here so that the magnolia leaves don't move and if somebody pulls it, it's not going to come out of the zip tie. So you can just put some glue going right across the stem. So you can use the fake magnolia leaves or you can use these beautiful petals that we made as well. We're only gonna put four, so you're gonna put it with the vein side up. And I'm just gonna zip it right where I put my, my elastic band. I think this one needs some glue. I kind of like it with the glue. It really gives that vein. Now, if you're new to making flowers, um, this may be one that you may want to do, you know, once you get a little more familiar with making flowers and the actual Unique and Creek boards. However, my teaching is wonderful. You should be able to do it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am making a magnolia, Margaret. All right, so we can do petals or you can do the fake. I'm gonna, when I take my pictures, I, I will take pictures of both, okay? But right now I'm going to, because the magnolia, pre-made magnolia leaves, they're easy to put in. So I'm going to put the leaves in for my, um, for this instruction, structurable, structure, tutorial, <laughs> that. Now, of course, you can add more leaves if you want. I'm just doing four just because I don't want to be here making leaves. Okay, there's our leaves. Now we're going to put in, oh, I'm going to cut the zip tie tails off. And now we're going to put in our petals in row. We are on row three, the normal holes. You want your petals cupped and we have the edges to the, the, the open edge to the right. You're just going to put each petal in and zip it. Right. So it's about an eighth of an inch from the bottom to the um, elastic band. Okay. 
yes, the replay will be available on our YouTube channel. So it'll be under the small boards, it'll be under flower designs, and it will be under 2024 designs, and it'll be under Make It Like Lori. So you'll be able to find it in a few different spots. Fabric mesh likes to stick to itself, so it's just be, be careful with when you're putting your petals on. It'll pull. So as you can see, I'm putting that folded edge, there's our open one, our folded one is going over top of the factory edge. And that's why you, you want the open ones always going to the same side, whether it be the right side, left side, as long as they're all going to the same way. All right, there's the eight. All right, next row on row four. There. Okay, row four, we're gonna be doing the normal holes. You're going to be putting four more of these petals on. We will be using the shared holes. They're going to be for another petal. We're going to be doing a Star Trek petal for that. And we're going to be putting a pine cone in the center. And I'll show you what I did to my pine cone in a second. We're going to put four more in again with the cup up. And now it'll it'll cup more because it's got that these nub things that are in the zip tie on row two. It has them in behind, so it's going to lift it up a lot more off the off the board. loves to stick to itself. Okay, so we got the four in here. And then we need four pieces of the cream mesh cut at ten and a half by ten and a half. I haven't done that yet, so. have a formation of a 
Magnolia kind of forming here. Yay! Okay, so I'm going to cut. Fabric mesh looks pretty. Look at that. Isn't that great so far? Okay, now we need four pieces of our fabric mesh at 10 and a half inches. This doesn't have to be so precise. And you do not have to wood burn because you won't see any edges. So I'm going to cut 10 and a half. your fingers to now these are not deco petals this one I'm going to do right now is a Star Trek petal we need four Star Trek petals So for the magnolia, you don't use more than a roll of mesh for either fabric mesh or poly burlap. So we got, oh, we've got about a quarter of a roll left. All right, let's finish this off. So I'm going to be going, let's flip it over. I'm gonna go from that hole to that hole. And these are where these petals are gonna go. So the shared holes here. So that one to that one. is runny. God, I hope I'm not getting sick. There. Flip that over. We'll do these up. Just do them up until you hear the clicking. Where did the other side go? Oh, it's right behind her. This one got a ten and a half by ten and a half piece. I'm going to turn it in a diamond shape, factory edge, top left, bottom right. We'll bring down that corner. I'm just going to clip it because I'm getting because I'm at the almost the center of the or the near the core of the mesh. It's a lot curlier, so make sure when you're making your magnolia petals. You use the beginning of your uh, of the roll, so they're not as curly as this. All right, so we've got a triangle. We're just going to flip that over. There's your Star Trek. See, we got a smaller one. We'll line up the corners. is our petal and then 
what you're going to do is you're just going to pinch in the center here. Just pinch. Make sure your layers. Okay, and then you're going to bring the two corners together. It almost looks like a shoehorn like that, right? Now for this one, normally the Star Trek pedal, you, you'll push this in, but we want this sticking, we want it standing up, right? Because it kind of surrounds the, um, the pine cone that we're going to put in the center. So we're not going to push this in. All you're going to do is make that Star Trek pedal and bring the corners together. Alrighty. And now make sure you know where your two edges are because we want to do the same thing for the, all of them. You're going to put it in so that this is going to be sitting on top of the flower. Again, it's fabric mesh, so it's kind of going to stick to, to itself. I'm going to put it in, I don't know, Stacy here still? I think I put it in about maybe I should band it so I can measure. Let's just keep it folded in half. Let's band it so we can measure about 10 three inches from the bottom. I'm going to try three inches from the from here to here is where I'm going to put a rubber band. I'm going to cut some of that off. So we have so much bulk. There we go. So yeah, three inches from the bottom of the tail. So let's do that again. Actually, that's a little bit large too. Let's try. It's a little tall. Not liking it. Let us try. Watch how easy it is. There, we can fix our mistake. Well, it's not really a mistake. I just have to figure out how far I want these this to go up. So that was three, another inch, maybe four inches. Let's see. I like four inches better. I got extra fabric mesh if I have to make another petal, so it's four inches. You have to do some math when you're doing flower wreaths because you want the petals to be as uniform as you can. There we go. Let's try that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, let's do another one. And we have an opening to the right, so we want to bring the two corners like that. And we're going to measure four 
inches. Here. Yep, that looks the same. So my opening is at the right. Cut some of this bulk off. I wish I brought some Kleenex down. Itself. I want to make sure these two are approximately the same. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to purchase all the mesh. I was just showing you different meshes that you can use that I would recommend for this, this particular flower. Because as you can see, there's a lot of sculpting with your petals and you want to make sure um, you use a mesh that will actually cooperate for sculpting it. thinking I need to do eight here. I think because fabric mesh is, I don't know, thinner. Oh, I see what I can do. All right, let's keep going. I don't want to see that zip tie. I stopped using the clips. There might be a better petal that I can use. I'm not sure. Or I think these might be a little too tall. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I'm thinking. 
again. I think I might need to do four more. Let's see. I'm going to go right over top of the regular hole that we have as a tie on already. And we already have a petal there, but I may have to put another Star Trek petal there. And then I'll be able to see if I like it better. I think if I made them shorter, they would have went fatter and around, but that's okay. I'd rather do it nice than and have to do four more petals. use as much poly burlap because poly burlap you only have to cut it 10 inches this one you have to cut it two and a half no I'm gonna keep doing I, I my problem is I think I made these too tall if I made them a little shorter they would have the fat part would have been down but that's okay I have enough mesh I'm gonna just make I'm going to try them a little smaller and see. Because the Star Trek petals are not hard to make, except if you get into right to the beginning of the mesh. Yeah, see, that's where I think I have to do a smaller one like that. So the fatter part is at the bottom. Trial and error. But that'll look pretty still. Hurry up, I got VIP tonight. And Jackie's coming on in an hour. I don't think I would be this long. So I'm just going over top of the regular holes on row four. They already have a petal in it. We're just going on top with two Star Trek, with the four Star Trek petals. And tomorrow I will edit this video so it's not so long. It'll be available on our YouTube channel.
you everybody. And I'll show you my pine cone. It's the last thing we have to put on. Now, when I was looking at magnolia flower, it's got a, the, the center kind of looks like a pine cone. It's like a greeny yellow. So I'll show you, I painted mine. Actually, this works good because you can open the edges and it kind of goes in. I'm going to have to see how Stacy did hers. It might be just because I'm doing fabric mesh that I have to do the eight in the center. It still looks good though. I have one more. kind of interlock these it's perfect okay one more thank you guys All right, last one, yay! So as you can see, you can you keep them to the, all going to the right, you can interlock them. That actually looks really pretty. It's like a spiral almost. Happy accidents! <laughs> all right lap that was the last one we're gonna put our pine cone in all right i'll show you what i did with mine wherever it went oh here it went okay so actually this might be a little bit big so what i did is i took this what color is it smartha stewart metallic uh brass it's almost like a greeny gold yellowish and I kind of just took this pine cone. I don't even know where I got it. It's wired, so I got it from somewhere. Um, and I brushed on, just with a paintbrush, I brushed on some of that goldish greeny paint so it wouldn't be so brown. And I'm going to remove this wire if I can. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a cable mount on the back with a pipe cleaner. Might be a little bit big. You could get your scissors in there and chop it down a little smaller. Let's try. Probably going to ruin it. No, that works. We're going to cut off these first. I'm just going to make it a little smaller to my liking. Because we're crafters. If it doesn't work, you make it work. And you make a huge mess. That's a mess. All right, it's perfect. All right, I'm going to take a cable mount and a pipe cleaner. Actually, I need a bigger cable mount.
I'm going to put some hot glue mess I'm making. I'm going to put some hot glue and we'll also put some E6000 or whatever you have. I have quick hold. I guess I shouldn't have put the hot glue on yet. Yeah, okay. We're just using hot glue for now. Hold that on there for a sec. Just don't push too hard. I'm breaking my pine cone. And then I'm going to go down the center in the on the board. You'll see two holes right in the center. That is where we're going to go down. You just move around your your stems there. When you lift the board up, you can see. There we go. You can see the hole. One. There's the second one. my darning needle. There it is. I'm not going to pull too hard because I only have, it's probably still a little bit big. All right, and then we're going to bring these up. Pretty, isn't it? <gasps> oh, I did it! Thanks to Stacy and her fabulous tutorial. And I just tweaked it a little bit. Ooh, look at that, my friends. Oh, I'm gonna go. Pretty. Here's the side. It really does look like a magnolia. <laughs> all right, let us clean it all up. I'm going to cut this. We'll put it back down. We're going to put up top here. I'm going to put a zip tie for a hanger. And there we go, my friends. A really pretty magnolia. Look how pretty. Is that the best magnolia you've seen? I think it's because of the petals and how perfect we got the petals. And fabric mesh is a nice mesh but you, you know you can't see through this and stuff so we can sculpt it nice I actually like the eight it's supposed to curve in a little bit more I have a feeling because I used fabric mesh it's not going to curve but it still looks just as beautiful I think anybody would know that's a magnolia if they saw it Yeah, and I just painted, like I said, a little bit of gold paint. You could even go even further and put a little bit of gold paint onto the mesh, but I'm not going to because it looks perfect. And you just need a small pine cone. I got these. I got these ones. They're plastic. They're definitely a lot bigger. I got them in the store. They're a lot bigger than 
what I expected. Um, and I don't know if you could cut them. However, if you wanted to make a big 21 inch magnolia, oh, wait a second, maybe I can cut it. I'll have to get Dave to cut it. I might be able to cut it down. This is actually a plastic, total plastic pine cone. You can paint that. So we got these leaves. I will do a picture with the actual magnolia leaves. You can see how, let's stick this just for shits and giggles. Oops, did I say that? You can decide. Which one do you like better? The magnolia leaves, which really make it like look like a magnolia. Or the mesh. And you would just stick them in the zip tie like we did the petals. And there's your magnolia. Ooh, I think I like the magnolia leaves. What do you guys think? I would only do three. This one would be. Isn't that fabulous? Love it. Yeah, it really does look authentic. So we do have the magnolias leaves stems in stock. They're XX7894. So whatever look you like, we got you. We got you covered. All right, I'm done. I have to go eat, and then I have VIP. VIPs, we'll see you in a little bit. Everybody else, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I will post some pictures tomorrow, and I also will edit down this video um, so it's not as long, because I really didn't know exactly what I was doing. So I was kind of doing it as I was going along. All right. So be sure to tell your friends about the cool, unique in the creek boards and all the amazing things you can do on it. And if you live in the Magnolia State, just saying, this might be just a very fabulous seller for you. <laughs> and of course, the back is all nice and neat. And you can put your sticker or your business card on the back. Or if you're making it as a gift, you can write a little a little something something on the back um, with a black Sharpie marker. Isn't that cool? Thanks, Tina Kelly, for all your help. And uh, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye, everybody.